Got a taste for really good chocolate? Well, you can treat yourself to the second best chocolate in the world right here in Southern California. CBS 2 Orange County reporter Dave Lopez tries to find out what makes Bodega chocolate one of the best. It is certainly a success story that would make even Walter Mitty smile. Twelve years ago, two sisters and a family member decide to whip up some chocolate, their own recipe, call the company Bodega Chocolates, and see what happens. Well, don't look now, but according to one chocolate survey, Bodega Chocolates makes the second best chocolate in the world. Not the state, not the country, but the world. I guess I am surprised as worldwide. Yeah, I, mean, I know we have a, I know we have an excellent product, but yes, I am surprised. By phone, Mortushi Angiano, who along with her sister Jean and cousin Cheryl, are still living the dream that actually has its roots in a tiny town where their grandparents ran a little bodega, a country store. Oh, from humble beginnings. What is it? Okay, why is your chocolate so good? Well, we use nothing but the best, nothing but the finest. But that's as far as she'd go. No secrets given away here. In fact, this photo is as close to getting inside a bodega factory as we're ever gonna get. So just who made up this list? It's the National Geographic Traveler A-List newsletter distributed worldwide. A company from Zurich, Switzerland is at the top of the list, and then comes Bodega. There are several other overseas companies, and then Godiva Chocolate at number seven. The Hollywood set loves Bodega at all Academy Award parties, Emmys, Golden Mics, Golden Globes. There's Bodega Chocolates, and the common folks love it too. Absolutely the best. No question. No question. Hands down. And calories, I take it? Um, calories? What are those? <laughs> <laughs> the company does make sugar-free chocolates, but we're talking the second best chocolate in the world. So why not enjoy it and just spend some extra time on that treadmill? For Orange County, Dave Lopez, CBS 2 News.